Just do something to tell you who I am, you know? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and R. And finally, I have some more DC content, right? In the last episode, we talked a little bit about Injustice, where I talked a lot about Injustice, but I also mentioned that there was the Batman Year One commemorative edition coming out soon, and then also Superman the Animated Series. So I'll be covering those, you know, when they come out, and we'll definitely have discussions about those for sure. But this weekend, we have DC Fandom, and I wanted to get that episode up and this episode up before then to let you know that I will be covering as much news as possible from DC Fandom this weekend. Uh, I'm going to try to focus it as much as I can, though, because I, I probably won't be able to do reactions for everything or to comment on everything, and that's mainly because of just life in general. I mean, obviously, my main show on here is the Venom vlog, and I've been following a lot of the, you know, the movie and stuff, you know, now that it's out and it's releasing in other countries. So that takes up some of my time. I'm still buttoning up Neverland, my book series, so that's taken up some time. Uh, but then also, uh, I just have work. Like, I work Friday through Monday every weekend, and this weekend we have a big event going on. Uh, so I'll just be slammed working probably later hours and stuff. So I'll do my best. I will definitely do my best. But one thing I want to do with my shows is each show that I do on this channel, I want to kind of tether to a video game. So that way the video game could be fun episodes we can throw up on the channel. You know, like I could do quick, you know, level playthroughs of like a specific level, edit it down to like a couple minutes or five minutes and share those with you guys. Um, and then also I can, you know, do comic book reviews and things that tie into the characters that are in these video games. So the video game for Seek and R that we're going to be following is going to be Gotham Knights. I am so pumped for this game. I, when I saw that trailer last year, I was ecstatic. I was so excited. And uh, now we got more information. Actually, some of the cast that has been announced over the last year, they've been coming out and sharing these cool things on Instagram where uh, they got invitations from the Court of Owls to go to DC Fandom on October 16th. So I just want to show off some of these images here from uh, Christopher Sean's you know, Instagram account and then also Stephen Ayoun. Uh, and Christopher actually was really cool. I met him when I lived in LA. He came into the Lego shop once and he was uh, asking me for like a favor of something. And I was like, yeah, dude, I'll help you out. I didn't know who he was. So uh, I helped him and his girlfriend out. And I was like, yeah, sure. If, I, if there's anything I could do, I'll help you out. And I did. And he actually was really cool. Um, he signed, uh, I bought a set because uh, he's also in Star Wars Resistance. He did the voice of one of the characters in that. So I, I took the set and I bought it and I had him sign it and I gave it to a young man who always came in and talked Star Wars with me. And he just, you know, I was get, about to leave the, the, the shop at that point. I was getting ready to move within like a month or two of that. So I wanted to do something nice for this kid who would, after school, always come in, him and his sister, and he would talk Star Wars with me. And he was just a big Star Wars fan. So I wanted to give him a good gift. And Christopher helped uh, make that happen. So, so that was really cool. That so I have a connection to this guy, and he's been just I've been following his career ever since. And now he's playing Nightwing, just the best character of the DC universe, in my opinion. You have Nightwing here. Uh, so, uh, so that's great. He's going to be playing, and he has these images here from his Instagram where he got this cool invitation. And then also Stephen Yoon, who uh, has played the voice of Mr. Negative on the Spider-Man video game, which I loved his work in that, and I love that they brought Mr. Negative into that game. What a cool character. I, I think he's so awesome. And I hope he pops up in Spider-Man 2, because I would love to see the Venom costume become an anti-Venom costume, and you need Mr. Negative for that. Uh, so, so yeah, he's really cool. So Stephen Yoon in this game is going to be playing the voice of Red Hood, uh, another favorite character of mine. So I'm so pumped. And you got Batgirl and, and uh, uh, I think Damien. Is it Damien or Tim uh, is in this one? Uh, but you got Robin and Batgirl, and I'm a big fan of the whole Bat family. So that's why this game is, I think, a good uh, central point for this show. Because moving forward, if I want to talk a Nightwing comic or a Batgirl comic or a Batman comic, it all ties into this. Uh, so yeah, these are just some cool images that they shared of their of what they got in Bruce Wayne dead Gotham Gazette, you know, uh, article that they got. Uh, they got the Court of the Owl mask, uh, like a different version of it, one that matches the video game, and then the formal invitation in these cool boxes. So yeah, just really awesome. I, I think these are just great, and um, it's making me more pumped for this game and more pu pumped to talk about it. And in fact, since I don't have one of these cool invitation boxes. I actually have this that I got a while ago on my birthday right before my surgery and I've never opened it and how perfect to keep it in the box for this. So I'll have an episode coming up where I unbox this and we talk about the Court of Owls comic book and then uh, maybe in future videos I'll actually wear this mask and uh, although I, I'll have to work on that because the audio might, will be muffled so maybe I'll do something different. Maybe I'll just do the image where I have like my face with this photoshopped onto it 
maybe I'll just do that uh, for sure. But but we'll do an unboxing of this and we'll kind of break down the Court of Owls comic book um, after the weekend. I want to first focus on any news we get for the video game and I want to see what that is all about first, do a trailer reaction, any news. We'll cover that for sure. But then also with this, I will, uh, I'll, I'll try to do an unboxing. And then I know at one point I was starting a show about Black Adam, but that movie filmed so quickly and not a lot of behind the scenes were released for that movie. So for me, it was hard to kind of keep up with it with everything else going on. So I promise any Black Adam news that comes out this weekend, because I'm still very excited for that movie and I'm a big fan of The Rock, I will definitely cover that information at DC Fandom as well. The Suicide Squad video game and some of the other stuff that they might release, I'll wait and see what it's like and see what they reveal and decide whether I'm going to make videos on that. But for me, at least if you want to follow Gotham Knights information and Black Adam information, those will definitely be my two major focuses of this weekend. And anything else I can get in there, I will but I'm going to try to lean in heavily on those two. And those will be Seek and Our episodes coming up. So that's it for today. I just want to hear your thoughts on some of this information, what those, those cool boxes, which I thought were awesome. And then DC Phantom in general, I want to hear what you think or what you're excited about, I guess. Um, what you What are the top things for you? Because if Black Adam and Gotham Knights are my two top favorites, I'd love to hear your two top favorites that you're most excited about. Some of you might be fans of the CW shows. Some of you might be excited to hear, you know, Aquaman news or, you know, in, in Shazam 2 news. Uh, you know, if that ties into Black Adam, I'm certainly going to be more excited for Shazam 2 news. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know all your thoughts down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. And of course, the Flash movie. I mean, we can't not talk about that. That's going to be a big thing. And if I can squeeze that in, I will. I mean, that movie worries me kind of the same way Spider-Man No Way Home does, where I feel like it might be too much, too many characters in a movie, but uh, we'll see. I'll wait and see. Maybe we'll get a trailer, and if we get anything on the Batman, I might cover that too, because that first trailer was really good. I'm a little on the fence of the movie still in general, but uh, but if they release a new trailer, I'll do a trailer reaction for that, and I, I might actually get the Lego sets for that. Uh, they, I'll put the images up here, but there's a couple of Lego sets coming out for the Batman, and I'm I'm in it like I'm I'm in it. They they're really cool looking. So uh, so I might pick those up and maybe we'll do like some you know builds or something on this channel with those as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. DC fandom, what are you most excited for? Let's talk down there. And I'll have more videos up this weekend about DC fandom as soon as information drops. When I get home from work, I'll cover it and I'll try to get it up. So I might be a day or two behind on stuff, but just bear with me. I'll get videos up from DC fandom over the weekend. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.